What is going on you guys? Steve with the video for you today. So today we're going to do a PC video. But before we get into the cards here, I just want to say I hope everybody had a happy Halloween and we're in November here and getting to the holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas and you know, I know it's a busy time of year and I hope everybody stays safe and stays healthy. So let's get into the cards here and I want to do a, you know, like a little tribute to uh Bruce Tudor. Bruce Tudor passed away on October 13th, 2022 at the age of 69. And, you know, I know I haven't been making too many videos here lately and I forgot to bring it up in my last video. So, you know, passed away a uh, cancer and true Cubs legend and baseball legend, Hall of Famer, one of the greats to play the game. So, uh, you know, rest in peace, Bruce Tudor. There's his 78 tops. Let's move on to the 1979 Tops. This is a PSA DNA certified card of uh, Steve Garvey, and there you can see his autograph right down the middle of the card. Steve Garvey had a 294 career batting average, 272 home runs, 2,599 hits, 1,143 runs, and 1,308 RBIs. So, you know, just amazing stats, but he's not in the Hall of Fame. So there is his autograph card. Moving on to the 1971 Topps card of his, his rookie card. So a little bit more about Steve Garvey. He was a 10-time All-Star, National League MVP in 1974, a four-time Golden Glove Award winner, and his number six is retired by the Padres, which is interesting because he spent the majority of his career as a Dodger, but this is just a beautiful rookie card of his, and I will show his autograph card there one more time. So there is a Steve Garvey showcase there. Just a small one. Now we got the uh, 1949 Bowman of uh, Indy Pafco. So for me, you know, and this is just my opinion, most most Cubs collectors um, should have this card in their collection. <laughs> you know, not, I'm just biased because really love it with that Cubs logo down there and Really like Pafco, very solid player. And uh, he is in the Cubs Hall of Fame. And that's where he spent most of his playing days is with the Cubbies. But, you know, I know he's mostly known for that uh, 1952 tops with the uh, Dodgers as being the number one card in the 1952 top set. Moving on to the 1957 tops card of Gus Zerineal. So, man, this is another beautiful example of the 1957 top set. You know, Zerniel on the bats and uh, not a very well-known ball player. But, man, he had a ton of power and eventually get into some career stats of his. But there is the 57 Zerniel. Moving on to the 1965 Topps card of Mickey Mantle. You know, one of the greats to play the game, if not one of the, the greatest. I was up there and you know, talk about being one of the greatest. But yeah, I love the 65 Mantle with the pendant down there and that old school Yankees logo. Beautiful looking photo of him. One of the greats. Let's go on to the 1969 Topps card of Billy Williams. Big time Cubs fan favorite and love this card of Williams with the, uh, that old school Cubs logo down there on his arm and Hall of Fame Cubby. Gotta love it. Here is the 1975 Topps card of uh, Willie McCovey. Um, one of the greatest Giants to play the game, but what's really cool about this is he's in the, in the San Diego Padres jersey, which is really neat and love that old Padres uniform. Here is the 1987 Topps card of BJ Surhoff, a Future Stars rookie card. Really love this card. Um, to me, Surhoff is uh, very overlooked for his, you know, the years that he played baseball. And uh, 
I don't know, I guess I can go to some of his stats here. He was a one-time All-Star, a 290, 282 career batting average, 2,326 hits. But, uh, you know, he played in the steroid era where you know, Bonds and McGuire and all them kind of took all the fame and left guys like Sir off, kind of off the radar. Here is the 1988 Topps card of Gary Carter. One of the great catchers to play the game, and always loved sharing a Gary Carter card. Here's um, the 1993 Tops, Tops Finest of Ozzy Smith. The Wizard, one of the greatest defensive shortstops to ever play the game. Fantastic looking finest of his. This is a neat one, too. This is the 1994 Topps card of George Brett. Beautiful looking card at, you know, old Kauffman Stadium there. And see the scoreboard crown in the background. And I believe this might have been Brett's very last card for Topps. I love that card. Loyal's legend. This is a unique card, too. This is the uh, 2006 Topps Jeremy Burnett's. Tops Heritage card. Burnett's had a few years there with the Cubs. This is kind of a Cubs heavy video, but that's okay. And I've seen uh, Clint Swing Swingaway Sports share this card, and I just think it's an absolute beauty. Love it and love Burnett's. Had some pretty good years behind him. Moving on to 2010. This is like a minor league card of uh, Mike Trout for the Cedar Rapid Colonels. And it's a pre-rookie card. Really love having any type of Trout card in the collection. And really cool with Cedar Rapids because that's not too far from where I live. Really neat looking card. Here is the 2011 Diamond Anniversary rookie card of Jason Kipnis. Very solid second baseman and... Had a long career. I'm not sure if he's officially retired yet, but he does not play for a team. But he had a few All-Star games under his belt. Here we got the 2014 Tops Finest of Nick Castellanos. And to me, Castellanos is kind of the definition of, you know, being consistent as a ball player. Never really has a bad year. But there is his rookie card. And we'll end it with the 2021 rookie card. This is like a top stadium throwback of Alec Baum. So, yeah. Just kind of want to share these. And thanks for everybody for watching. Take care and stay safe.